Essential Product Marketing OKRs and Metrics. My name is Charlie Gale and I'm a copywriter here at Product Marketing Alliance. We at Product Marketing Alliance have compiled a list of what we consider the most essential product marketing OKRs and metrics within product marketing that will boost your projects, help to prevent customer churn and increase sales. Remember, there isn't a blanket approach that can be applied to the world of OKRs and metrics. You need to choose metrics to suit your sellers. Leads. Click-through rates. This is the ratio between the number of clicks on a specific call to action, or CTA, and the number of times people were exposed to the link. Click-through rates are important because they help you understand what works with your product when it comes to reaching your target audience. Cost per lead, or CPL. This metric measures how cost effective your product marketing campaigns are in terms of producing new leads or people interested in your product for your sales team. Calculating the CPL helps to establish a solid budget to spend on acquiring new customers. This will then in turn help improve the rate at which you gain new customers. Revenue, ARR and MRR. These stand for annual recurring revenue and monthly recurring revenue, respectively. They measure the recurring amount of money your company expects on a yearly, ARR, or monthly, MRR, basis. These metrics are perfect for when you have a subscription-based product and provide insight into the efficiency of your business and product marketing techniques. ARPU slash ARPA. Average revenue per user or average revenue per account helps you to measure your company's revenue based on how many users or accounts you have. They're often used synonymously, but sometimes this isn't helpful as one person could have multiple accounts. Either way, these metrics are important in helping you identify profitability and which of your products generates the most revenue. Win rate. This measures the number of successful sales that your organisation has throughout its sales cycle. This is, of course, extremely important in identifying areas of improvement within your product, understanding your current finances, and also helping to predict future sales. Conversion. Conversion rates. This is calculated through the number of conversions, or the number of times your CTA is responded to, divided by the total number of visitors. Conversion rates are important to measure how this metric highlights how many prospects you're successfully turning to fully fledged customers. You get to see who's genuinely interested in your product and how many go through with that sale versus how many that don't. You can improve this rate through a process called conversion rate optimization or CRO. Cost per acquisition or CPA. This financial metric measures how much it takes for a business to acquire a single customer. CPA is essential if you're running an online business because it determines your return on investment ROI, and creates a direct link between revenue and how your product marketing campaigns impact it. Engagement. Churn slash retention rates. Churn and retention rates are arguably the most popular metrics to measure within product marketing. They refer to the rate at which a customer either discontinues, churn, or continues, retention, business with you. These are incredibly important for your business to know because lost customers means lost revenue and sales. A churn rate will tell you that you need to identify why customers are leaving and try to fix it. Conversely, in the case of a retention rate, you'd need to find what's so good about your product or business that's prompting customers to remain loyal to your brand. Time on page. This metric measures the amount of time a customer spends on pages within your website. You can analyse how interested your customer is in your content by comparing how long they're on the page with how long it would on average take to actually read the information. Traffic. Traffic sources. This helps to track where your traffic's coming from. For example, via organic search, direct links, social media, etc. Measuring where the visits are occurring most helps you to optimise an effective strategy to continue improving your traffic rates. Bounce rate. This metric measures how quickly visitors leave your website after arriving. 
Though it won't tell you why they're leaving so quickly, it will give you a better indication of what's working with how you market your product. Integrations such as online heat maps can be integrated into your website to give you an impression of how many people are using your site.